Hi, Robin with OxyDry. Um, this carpet is uh, apparently 21 years old uh, and uh, very defined traffic lanes. Very much uh, an example of a uh, carpet that's been repeatedly steam cleaned and uh, it's wicking all over the place. It's a level loop. Doesn't like getting steam cleaned anyway. And uh, apparently they had been renting the house out and they moved back in after being away for a little while. And um, when they got back, the carpet had been just been cleaned, uh, steam cleaned, and and it took two days to dry. They set up fans and everything. It was obviously very poor quality job, but this this carpet's only ever been steam cleaned, and and you can see the look at the traffic lanes all over the place. I guess there was a, maybe a big table sitting there or something, but uh, yeah, very blotchy and uneven looking. So it needs a proper cleaning. And so you can look at the traffic lanes here. This is mostly just this is wicking. This is I mean it's dirty, but it's wicking as well. And we got lots and lots of uh, interesting stains all over the place. So I did actually already. I vacuumed it all, of course, um, and I cleaned underneath the, these couches and I just put them back. But uh, I thought I'd show you this part where all the actual real visible soiling is. There was a big stain under this couch, where I, which I took out, no problem. Anyway, we're going to give it a good clean. Of course, I'm giving it a little shot of suspend with stabilized CLO2. Again, we're staining here, stain right there, staining here. <laughs> There's lots of stains and nasty looking things all over the place. But anyway, these sort of things I run into fairly often. I mean, I just posted a video of another one I just did the other, yesterday. Same scenario. It just doesn't work. Well, especially when they don't even do it right. They don't even bother pre-vacuuming and, you know, zip, zip. <laughs> So we're going to restore this carpet. Actually, the carpet's not in bad shape, really, for the most part. Ooh, that look, that, that, that don't look good. <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, clean it. I have boosted with uh, Revive Rocket, but an ounce or so added to my normal mix. Just throw that over there. And of course, this is a hog's hair fiber pad. It needs a good scrub, so that's what we're going to give it. Look at that, immediately. Brightening up immediately. Yeah. And the rotary does very well on this type of carpet. And of course, it's very easy to move on it. Uh, it doesn't uh, chatter or jump like uh, OP probably would on this particular carpet. <clears throat> Looking good.
I don't have too much in there. I didn't think I was going to need too much for this job. It's not very, not very many square feet. But uh, you know, you can see this area right here, the soil looking uh, is coming up really nice and easily. We've got a, some kind of a spill right here. I thought it might have been wine, maybe. We'll see um, how that does. You got another one right there. Carpet is brightening up very, very well. Just make sure I apply evenly. Um, I'm, of course, feathering the solution on just making sure the fiber pad remains damp. Don't need to go over wet it. Just use enough to do the job and that's all you need. Notice I'm just just a little bit at a time. That's the secret. Once you get the hang of uh, shower feeding, it's uh, it's a breeze. A little bit more right there. <coughs> Again, I just apply it as I use it, and that's one of the things about it, you know, um, to bear in mind. I mean, if I was, I was gonna if I was pre-spraying of course I'd spray a little bit heavier in some of these areas but because I'm doing it as I'm cleaning it um, it actually you notice it when I slow down and apply in an area a little bit heavier it'll actually immediately start foaming it up which means that it's not going to penetrate to the backing and that's usually um, a very important thing to uh, um, you can see right that spot, I was just uh, added a bit extra right there, I'm going over it, and I'm agitating it at the same time. So it's actually it's remaining in the fiber rather than washing into the backing. And that's, I guess, that's one thing I've maybe never mentioned, is what's happening is um, if I put it a little bit heavier, I'm going to slow down like this and go over it. There's a bit of an area right there, so I'll show you. But when, and right here, let's see a bit of a color there. So I'm going to add a bit more. It's on right now, now it's off. Now I'm going to go back and forth, which is I'm agitating, which is the and it turns white because the agitation is um, putting air into the solution and it's bubbling up, as it were, and so it's not so much liquid that would run into the backing. This way, you're able to be in in more control of. Uh, of the liquid on the carpet. You don't want to wash the dirt into the backing. And, and that's the key to doing the shower feeding. This carpet is looking amazing. So it's looking very, very even now. 
that's exactly what you're after. And that's without even, uh, I haven't even done the extraction step yet. Nice that looks. Obviously, after 21 years, there's some wear on the fibers and dulling of the surface, which won't reflect light as as um, easily. But um, removing that film from the um, wicking is uh, going to make a dramatic difference to the way the carpet looks, because it's like a film that works its way up the fibers, a very fine oily sheen as it were that deposits on the tips of the fibers and uh, carpet looks you know, dull and dingy and blotchy. And that's uh, what happens when it gets steam cleaned. Because the physics of how a carpet dry um, it almost makes it impossible to not happen because the moisture that gets down into the backing has to come up the fiber um, to dry as the moisture moves up the tip of the fiber and then it evaporates into the air. As it does so, it will draw by capillary action oils and fine soils and that's what becomes visible as wicking and a dull, gingy soiled appearance on the carpet because that's exactly what it is. And so that's why this works so well, is we're not getting the bottom of the carpet wet. You're wanting to clean the fiber without wetting the back, without getting it wet to the bottom. You can't clean the backing. Vacuuming is a very important part of that aspect to pull up as much of that dry particulate soil as possible, but nobody is cleaning the back of the carpet. You can get it wet, but you'll never get all that soil out of there. But if you get it wet, it will wick to one to some extent or another. It, it's just the way the physics works. I'm just going to head over here. They're going to be astonished at how good this carpet looks. And not only that, but it's going to look better tomorrow than it does today. Partly because of the peroxide that's in the solution, plus the stabilized CLO2 and it's just the nature of the way this this process works okay I guess we can switch over to the Switch over to the Iron Man tab. <coughs> I 
this pad is getting pretty thin now. I'm getting near near the end of its use. <laughs> I'm able to use the. I find the um, hog, hogs are do last the longest. By the way, I can. Uh, I'm not sure how many times I actually use them. I don't. I've never actually figured that out precisely, but they definitely last longer than any any of the other pads I've used. And this is the brochure that I give my customer. And then I write the total in there and hand it to them. It explains all about what we do. And as a stain removal guide as well. These these things are all on my website. I just sort of condensed it down onto a brochure, which I actually created initially oh, 30 years ago, pretty much. It has evolved over the years and changed somewhat. These stains are gone, the traffic areas are gone. I already did over here. The one I did behind the coaches, in case you're wondering. Of course, this car, this car, this being 21 years old, I mean, we're not expecting it to look like a brand new car because there is going to be some deterioration on it. But it is looking amazingly good compared to what it was looking like when I got here. <clears throat>
looking very, very even. That's what we're after. Very relaxing, <laughs> somewhat monotonous, I guess, but um, yeah, it's nice to do a nice, simple job. But the rotary is very uh, relaxing to work with. That's one of the reasons I like it. This way, and then we'll take a look at the pad. Have a look. <coughs> Aha, interesting. Not as not that soiled appearing, which is funny how that works. But anyway, it was just needing a good uh, evening out, and uh, so it's looking really good. <coughs> Alright, well, I'll continue on. I'm going to do the steps next. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.